All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, happy New Year week, and uh, soon we have a happy uh, Thanksgiving for those who live in America. But I advise all the Christians always to provide Thanksgiving to the Lord, for He provides us with many good things. And remember today, as usual, we are here to expose the cult of Islam, but we are not against Muslims. Muslims are people the Lord, he says to us, love them, pray for them. So we are here to help them not to be against them. Remember that always, please. Now, the topic today is, what is the proof that Muhammad was a prophet? This is the question, which is, I mean, very normal to be asked when anyone believe anything uh, what is the proof and this is a Muslim website so what we will read here is nothing to do with me is what the Muslims give us uh, the text here is somehow is big let me see if I make it a little bit smaller here we go this is better all right so what is the proof that Muhammad was a prophet this is a question posted in September 24th this year. I'm curious. I read Surah chapter 6 verse 50. And this is Quran now. Say Muhammad, I say not unto you that I possess the treasure of Allah, nor that I have knowledge of the unseen. This is, and this is supposedly the statement of Muhammad. So the person is asking, is that saying that Muhammad is saying he is not a prophet? Explain to me, please. So, when Muhammad, he said in this chapter, <clears throat> chapter 6, verse number 50, let us go there first. Chapter 6. And we will read Muslim translation as usual. So Muslims will not say we are making our own translation. You know them. They complain for any reason. All right. This is the Muslim Muhammadan translation, as you see. In this in this verse, Muhammad, God speaking, saying to Muhammad, "Tell them, I have no knowledge of anything except what Allah told me." And actually, there is here something very bad in this verse. Uh, but. We will connect it to other verse because they both they complete each other. Uh, when Muhammad he say that his God told him to say that he have no knowledge except what Allah he gave him. Is that an answer from Muhammad saying, "Don't ask me questions; I know nothing," or Muhammad is saying, "I know everything, but my knowledge is coming from Allah." <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim in the chat listening? Do we have any Muslim listening here? Is Muhammad here saying, I know nothing? Which means as the guy is asking in, this, in the website, will look like Muhammad saying he is not a prophet because he know nothing. Prophet is someone prophesy about the future. And Muhammad saying, I don't have the treasure of Allah, nor I know the unseen. You know, the second you say, I know not the unseen, that's when you are not a prophet. You are confessing that you are not a prophet. Because a prophet is somebody tell us about something is unseen, something did not happen yet, something will happen in the future. Do you agree with me, Muslims? If I say to you, I know not anything about the unseen, I just confess that I am not a prophet because this is the job of a prophet. He will be sent by God and God will tell things which nobody knows. And that's why we call him a prophet. Otherwise, why he's called a prophet? Any Muhammadan? As you see, this is Muhammad, and this is Allah saying that Muhammad, he know nothing. And he do not know the unseen. So he never possessed the unseen, which means he never he made, an, uh, made a prophecy about the unseen. 
Muhammad Qasim saying, hold on, let us see what Mr. Muhammad saying. We will put his statement in the in the screen so uh, people will read what uh, Mr. Muhammad said. All right, the Arabian Prophet it clearly says, but follow that which is revealed. He does not know himself the unseen. But you see, <clears throat> he does not know himself the unseen. But the second you possess the unseen knowledge, you have it. And when you say I follow. I follow you see there's a huge difference between I follow and I tell you what nobody knows I follow too but that's that does not make make me profit correct guys I follow many teaching is exist in the Bible mentioned either by the Lord himself or by prophets but if I follow doesn't make me a prophet so Muhammad he says to you I know nothing. I possess nothing. I don't possess the treasure of Allah. What is the treasure of Allah talking about? Is that a gold? Is that silver? No. It's about knowing. Nor I know the unseen. So he, he don't even know what will happen in the future. So he confessed two things. He have no knowledge of what Allah want. He have no knowledge of the unseen and that will strip him from the title of being prophet. Nor I say to you that I am an angel, which means you know uh, uh, you know a weird statement Muhammad claiming that I'm not an angel what does that mean he's a bad person because when I say I'm not an angel that's mean I'm the, like maybe I'm saying I'm the devil I'm not a good person what, what does that mean I'm not an angel I follow that which has been revealed into me okay following what is revealed to you does not make you neither a messenger or a prophet do we have any Muslim would like to give us a call? Do we have any Muhammadan would like to give us a call? Let me open my Skype. Give me a second to be sure that Muhammadan people they are able to call me. Maybe those who claim that they, they are heroes and they can debate me, they will <clears throat> they will do it. All right, we are we are live on Skype. And Muhammad, if you like to call us, feel free, my friend. Anyone? So it's very clear that what Muhammad is making here is a trying to, uh, let us say, push away any responsibility about him. I know nothing. I'm no one. I'm not even an angel. I do not know the unseen. What does that mean? It's mean uh, don't go after me. So why you claim to be a prophet? It's like a teacher. He go to the classroom and he say, "I know nothing." Go and call hijab. No problem. Give me his Skype. I will call him right now. <laughs> Yes, my friend, the one is scared is the one who don't dare even to open his live broadcast and say, call me. Here we go. I'm live on air. We can do broadcast at the same time. He can he can call me or I can call him. He can have his people in his channel. I will have my the people here in my channel. Let us do it, my friend. Bunch of kids. Real heroes do don't talk. Here we go. My Skype is open. What about you go and say to him, why you don't call this guy? Actually, isn't him yesterday? He says he made a poll. He wanted to debate Christian Prince. So he is the one making the challenge. And I accept. I'm here every day, life on air. Who is holding him? Anyway, just forget about this kid. So who is the Muhammadan is going to give us the answer? Any Muhammadan? Forget about this kid, guys. Do we have any Muhammad and have an answer? Muhammad confess that he is neither a prophet, neither know anything about Allah, neither he is a teacher, he is just a follower. Muslims, he is follower of who?
He is a follower of who? Any Muslim can tell us? Uh, guys, in the text, anyone will use the word... Uh, don't use bad language, please. Don't for us to block you. Uh, you know, let us maintain it a nice conversation. We are having a good time. And there is no need to be rude. And that's it. Take it easy. Enjoy your time. As you see, here we go. We are live on air challenging all those who say we believe in Allah and He is a prophet. He is no prophet and there is no Allah. And prove me wrong. What do you say? What say you? I'm a Christian prince, live on air. My Skype is open. I say to you, Muhammad here is convinced, convincing us that he is not a prophet. And he is saying that, so you will not ask him questions because he know nothing. What do you say? Translate directly from the Arabic. If I translate the Muslim, they will say he's giving us false translation. So I'm using Muslim translation. And look what he said at the end, which is very funny. Is the blind is equal to the, the one who can see? I mean, look who is talking. Muhammad, he do not know how to write, how to read according to Muslims. And he is a question. Is the blind is equal to the one who can see? The question is, as long as you have eyes, how come you cannot read? And how come the one who cannot read and write, he will be the teacher who would teach us? Have you ever heard of a, somebody as a professor in university? He is illiterate. Illiteracy. And he is talking about the blind and the one who can see. Are they equal? Anyone? Okay, we have to go back then to the article. So maybe we can find some, as long as there is no Muslim, no Muhammadan would like to call us. So this person is asking, well, isn't it really here with the prophet saying that he is no prophet? Jason Sober want to call me? No problem, he can. Anyone, as long as he's a Muslim, he can call me. If you are not, I will hang up on you. And I will block you. Alright? So please just call if you are a Muhammadan. Anyone? And please don't send me links in the Skype saying refute this guy and refute this guy. I do refute Islam. I don't refute guys. And don't send me text in Skype. So what I'm doing here? You think I'm, uh, I'm making uh, falafel? What refute this guy? What is more important than refuting Muhammad himself? What refute this guy and that guy? Now, if we go in the answer here, Mr. Uh, Mayin Khalifa, he is giving his answer. He said, thank you for the question and for concerning ask about, about Islam. This is the name of the website, supposedly. Chapter 7, verse 157 in the Quran clearly states that Muhammad is the messenger and the prophet. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I mean, okay, the guy is asking you, why Muhammad saying, I know nothing? And then you say to him, oh, well, there is a verse in the Quran clearing clearly that he is a prophet. Question, what is the prophecy? What is the prophecy? In order to be a prophet, I have to be a prophecy. Okay, what is the prophecy of Muhammad in the Quran? Who want to show it to us? Let me prophesy for you. I live in USA and now it is winter. 
this winter we will have a snow and not only here in Alaska too here we go I'm a prophet now let me make more unbelievable prophecy many women around the world this month they will have their period oh I know that that's astonishing I just told you about the unseen so when you say there's a verse about Muhammad in the Quran saying he's a prophet shouldn't you tell me what is the prophecy first anyone can say I'm a prophet anyone can say I'm a prophet the problem is how you can prove it so you are trying to prove to the guy that he is a prophet by saying to him there is a verse saying he's a prophet And if we go to chapter 7, verse 157, as he suggests to go, let us go there. Chapter 7, verse 157. All right. I hope that will not hurt your eyes screwing down. Hmm. It says here, those who follow the apostle and literate prophet i mean how you can call somebody a prophet and he is illiterate just to show you how this is a very weird funny quran the muslim they say the quran is amazing the second you say he is illiterate it's mean he is unlearned so how he learned from allah but he is unlearned Are you are you following guys with me? A person who is receiving his knowledge from Allah, how we can call him and learned? The second you say he is illiterate, it's mean he, he have no knowledge. So he gave him a verse, confirmed the previous verse, saying that Muhammad is an ignorant, he know nothing, he is not a prophet. This is what you gave me. So it, the verse saying he is a messenger, but he is unlearned. That is an interesting kind of uh, stupidity. I claim to be a prophet who learned my knowledge from God, yet I say to you, I am unlearned. And then it says here, whom they find written down with them in the Torah and the Injil question. So Muhammad, he could not prove that he is a prophet. And then he says, go and find my name written in the Torah and the Injil. I thought the Torah and the Injil is corrupted. So somebody inserted the name of Muhammad there maybe. And where is the name of Muhammad in the Torah and the Injil? Where? And why Muhammad did not quote the verse? Why Muhammad did not say he would go in chapter, etc., verse, etc., I am there. Hmm? Do you know that the, the the real Israelis are the largest? My friend, just leave my don't don't stay here. I don't have a plan, uh, time for stupidity. How you are an African and you are Israelis? That's that's weird. Those are racist group. They have nothing to do with God. Don't don't change my topic and don't waste my time. All of those are racism racism a group. Jesus, he is not. First of all, you are Israeli or not, that will not make you any different. That's that's very, very, this is telling you how stupid some people are. Because Jesus, he came for all mankind. For God, he loved the world. He sent his only begotten son. Not the Israeli, not the Hebrew, not the Jews, not the Middle Eastern, not the white, not the black, not the Asian, all the world. So when you say I'm an Israeli, so what? I mean, let us say that for the sake of argument, you are. Is that is that mean something you are like you have a rank now racism this is the whole point you're trying to be like I'm above all mankind I'm an Israeli 
But this is in your fantasy, my friend. I do not need to be an Israeli to be Christian. <laughs> Wrong mentality, low IQ, a racism involved. Racism is from the devil, not from Jesus. This is why you are making it about the black. When, like, was Jesus a black too? And who care about if you are black or, you know, why you... I mean, just, just go. Go to your devil and play with him. Time will come and Jesus will say to you, I do not know you. Depart away from me, false people. Now, who is the Muhammadan is going to give us an answer? Let us see. Look like we have maybe something in Skype. If thinker, uh, I think this guy he called me before, but he is changing the name. Maybe let us see. Let's call him. <laughs> Answer, my friend. Hello? Hello. Yes, you are live on air. Go ahead. What do you want to say to us? Yeah, I'm I'm Fikar. I'm, uh, I'm from India. Right. Okay. And you are a Muslim, right? Yeah, Sunni. Yeah. Okay, that's wonderful. What do you would like to say to us, Mr. Iftikar? Your name is yeah, Iftikar? Iftikar? Iftikar, yeah, Khan. I'm, Iftikar, I'm from right. Mumbai. Okay, yeah. my friend. Go ahead. Uh, what you're talking about, okay, whatever you're mentioning over here, hmm is not at all uh, we i i i practice okay hmm. and and this my imams and my Mawlana, they never tell me that muhammad was an unlearned prophet hmm. so okay he he, they say okay so what you're quoting over here hmm. okay it can also have a different interpretation give me the interpretation okay it is possible when jesus said in bible hmm. that no one knows the r okay hmm. So, so it, it is like that. Even he didn't know, but later it was revealed to him. Mm, no, this is not true. Jesus, when he said in the same chapter, he said, no one knows what the Father, because simply he's saying to you that we don't believe in the preset dating. You see, uh, uh, if you go in the in the Old Testament and, and you, you will see that when God, he destroyed uh, Sodom and Gomorrah, if there was only 10 people who still decent, God will not destroy the city. So what does that mean? that our corruption is going to bring judgment day faster or slower the more corrupt we are the more we destroy ourselves the more we stay away from god the more the judgment day will come so god he gave us a free will so nobody knows not even the son because this is not a preset decision but jesus said in the same chapter when this and this and this and this and this and this and this happened this generation will not pass before the judgment day come. So he's telling you what have to be done. He knew he knew the future. He knew what 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 people would do, but he is not the one who decide when to do it because this is a free will. So Jesus he knew, but you, because you have a wrong understanding of Christianity. Now here, uh, what the Muhammad have to do with the unlearned prophet anyway? I mean, unlearned about what? Is your prophet know the judgment day? I have told the he knew he knows about it. Okay, what he said about the judgment day. Let me let us see. In the chapter of the moon, verse number one. Do you know that chapter? The one the Muslim they say, and you are a Muslim, that the moon is split. Yes. Okay. Is that a prophecy from your prophet? They tell me it is. Look, what? They tell me it is. All I'm right. practicing but now. I was not a devout Muslim until last year. My friend, and, so last uh, year now, you became not devoted, so now you lost Islam. What does that mean? I mean, you are a Muslim, right? Yes, no, okay. no. So Muhammad uh, here, he I, made I, a prophecy. I, I, Muhammad here, he made a prophecy. Mm -hmm. Saying judgment day in the corner and the moon split. And neither the moon split, it was just an eclipse. And the judgment day did not come. But if you read if you read it, even your Muslim translation, I don't know what language you know you, you like to read. You can read it in any translation you have. In Arabic in front of me, it says, which is a poetry. He took it from Imrul Qais. An Ghazali and Sadaq al So Muhammad here, taking a poetry, putting it in the Quran, and now he is in trouble because he claimed 
that the judgment day is in the corner and this is not only in the corner it started the moon split the sign of the judgment day is what is the moon splitting the end of the world it's not he's not talking about two million years from now we will have judgment day so here Muhammad making a false prophecy and he is a false prophet I can I can tell you one thing from your Bible as well and if you if you can explain me that that will be really my good. friend but why you okay. don't answer about this and then we can go to the uh, you can tell me from the Bible why why why, why we Muslims look, we escape, uh, we escape. Uh, uh, your name is Christian Prince right okay, but Christian see, Prince we are talking, I, I'm not you're, against you're a, you're you're a what you're saying I believe okay, okay give, I give me, believe give me it I'm Okay, but you need to answer me about this. Okay, but no problem. Go, give, yeah. me, give me from the Bible. Oh, no problem. Go ahead. Okay, where uh, there are, uh, I have heard that there are some gifts of the tongue, you know, mm. people can speak in tongue. Mm. Okay. And Paul said in, in somewhere, I don't know the chapter or something, but mm. Paul said that it will be seized when the perfect comes. Mm. Okay. I've also heard in the in the Bible, it is written, the moon will uh, turn red and uh, well, the moon something turn red. Yeah, happen. the moon turn red. This is, uh, you know, but yeah. so how this is different than that? It is the same thing. No, 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 my friend. No, you see, you are you are you are mixing things up big, big deal, because it's not just one thing have to happen. The same chapter you are quoting for me about Jesus, he said only the father no. Is the same chapter telling you those things will happen. So when all those things happen, then the judgment day will come. Not one thing, not the moon, mm. not one thing mm. here. Like if I say, let us say I'm a prophet and I am not. But didn't Jesus say that the kingdom of heaven is near? Because by accepting okay. him, because he came to us. So that is 2000 years ago. Doesn't right? matter. Jesus, he said, whoever, whoever believe in me and die, he will live. So we will die. And we will live and judgment will they will come and he did not say this is why he said you are, you are answering yourself Jesus himself he said no one knows the hour but the father and then he told us what will happen exactly so when all those things happen he is not saying it's going to happen today neither next week he's saying when those things happen the judgment they will come and I will come with the glory of my, uh, you know uh, over the cloud so the messiah he will come when those things happen and i explained to you that already so this is not a valid question from you because this is already answered but here we have muhammad saying that the judgment day is news okay forget about this where is the prophecy of your prophet in the quran which is true prophecy uh he so said about romans that, about uh, the roman what about the roman tell me about it that you know uh, the romans every everyone the romans will be the majority and uh, the Roman will be the majority. Okay, is the Roman the majority in mankind now? I I don't know. <laughs> what is the population of Italy? This is Roman. Small country. So this is a proof that Muhammad he is a false prophet because when your prophet he says the uh, 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 the a room whom the the Roman will be the most. Uh, biggest population of the, 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 the mankind he just confirmed to us and I don't know like are you working against your prophet because I was going to quote this for you and now you quote it for me look like you are working for a Christian Prince are you no I'm not okay so when when you're a prophet he says the majority what of about mankind, when, 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 when I look when Allah challenged uh, my, my uh, friend my friend uh, my friend you just say don't 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 change topic you said that the prophet okay. said that the Roman are going to be the majority mm. of mankind. Mm. Huh? Yes. Is that a true prophecy or this is a, a false prophecy? I don't know. It's, it is a prophecy for today or for Judgment Day. Okay. So, so they, what they, will they, happen? They told me. So that what will ha what will happen day. now? The, the Roman, they are the, the only way to, to the, for this to happen is to uh, uh, kill seven billion human beings and forbid them from having babies. And letting only 20, 30, or maybe 70 million Italian have babies. Uh, I, you're making this up. No, no. You see, I'm not making this up because you are the one who says to me, judgment day will happen when and the Roman will be the majority of mankind. So Muhammad is okay. thinking because the Roman at that time, they are the biggest empire. So what will happen? Obviously, they will grow. He never expect them to die and to not to exist no more. So he is saying the Roman they will be the major of mankind. How that can be? So Romans will be more than Muslims. They will be more than all mankind. This is what it says. 
more than can, all can you show man- me? Let, okay let me let me let me show you let yes. me get that can you also show me uh, you're showing me from hadith or from quran well my friend isn't it you who called this hadith for me and you are asking me what are you showing me you are the one who caught it now you are going to say to me you are showing me from where okay all right let us see i'm trying to find the hadith for you Um. <clears throat> Let's see this one here. <clears throat> here we go. I heard Messenger of Allah saying, and this is Sahih Hadith. I, I can't see one. Uh, wait. I'm waiting for it. Uh, saying uh, the last hour would come when the Roman would form the majority amongst the people. Okay. Hmm. And you are the one who called this hadith for me. Okay, let me read this. Uh, Uh, so I have this question for you, my friend. Okay. I, I, I don't, I'm asking you: Is the Roman? No, I'm I'm, I'm ask, asking about the same question, same uh, uh. hadith which you're showing me. Mm. Okay, so it, is this about today? Right now, there should be majority, or it is about Judgment Day? Well, it's about Judgment Day, but obviously, you know, your prophet he says the Judgment Day is near, and nothing happens so at the same time. The number of Italian people are not increasing. I mean, we are we they are just a small, tiny, forty million. 40 million compared to 7 billion uh, guys how what is the population of italy somebody give me 40 70 how many million so we can get the correct number I, I'm, I'm not I sure can, I can let me see I will, I will search on google because uh, you know i'm not uh, let us see italy population oh, okay how much 60 millions so in order for the 60 million italian to be the majority of mankind those each one of them he have maybe to have uh, 10,000 children every day How this will happen Look, I, I have a Christian friend and I don't I don't care about your friend. And by the way, you cannot have a Christian friend. The Quran says take not Christians and Jews as a friend. Chapter five, uh, verse no, fifty-one. No, we uh, we can we can have friends in this within this. Isn't it I, the Quran I, I, says take not Christians and Jews as a friend? Chapter five, verse fifty-one. I get no the it it talks about someone who's attacking attacking us, and we are not supposed well, to be no, friends. No, talking with... talking about kuffar. Because those are kuffar. This is why Allah or uh, a prophet ordered to kill the Christians and the Jews. So you mean to say that we are not supposed to even talk to them? You cannot take them as a friend. You cannot even take your family as a friend. Is that correct? I, I mm. read for me. No, chapter, read it for me. Chapter nine, verse number twenty-three. Chapter 9, verse 23. Does it say that you cannot even take your own family as a friend? Or I'm making things up. If they are not Muslim? If they are not Muslims, yeah. This is, okay. Let, let me see that. Because anyone is not a Muslim, he's opposing Islam, obviously. He don't believe in Muhammad. I, I want to say something on this. In, okay, I don't know how much you know about India. Okay. Uh, they, they when I go to the meetings where they they discuss everything okay, and uh, I ask this question, they don't uh, tell me. They say, "Yeah, you can be friends with anyone, and then you can bring them to Allah." And uh, no, the Quran says, "And those who take them as a friend, he is one of them." Not only that, uh, you cannot take them as a friend if you take the Christians and the Jews as a friends. And let me show you the verse. Here we go. If you okay. take them as a friend, you are you are a kafir. You are not a Muslim. You are an apostate. So my friend, those who they are saying to you such a thing, uh, mm. they are ignorant in Islam. You see, I, 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 don't, I don't mind to have you as a friend. Why not? I mean, I, I, I like to take friends from everybody. Uh, you know, we are Christians. We love everybody. But I'm not saying to you, I don't like you to be my friend. I'm saying to you what your religion teaching. And there's a huge difference. Otherwise, I, if I see you sick in the street, I will be the first to help you, even if I don't know you. 
If I see you hungry, I will be the first to feed you. This is what Jesus said. This is what we have to do. So you are a Muslim, you are a Hindu, you are a Buddha, you are an atheist. Still, I have then, to love then you. Why so I'm asking Muslims you, does it, say, why does, it, does it say, does it say that the one who take them as a friend, he is one of them? Read it, the verse for me. Chapter 5, verse 51. One second. Let me let me open it one second. Mm. <sighs> Uh, chapter 5, verse 51. Okay. okay. Oh, you have believed. Do not take the Jews and the Christians as allies. Mm. They are in fact allies of one another, and whosoever whoever is an ally to them among you, then indeed he is one of them. Indeed, Allah guides not wrongdoing. Mm. So you see, those in our disease hastening. Mm. So, uh, we are afraid. Can, can you also explain me the next verse? Before before I ex 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 explain, do you agree then what Allah is saying that this is what He said? Or I'm not lying to you, right? If, if you take no, me as a friend, no, no. if you take me as a friend, you are one of us. So you are Christian. So thank you, my friend. You are Christian now. Thank you. I'm happy for you that you left, you left the cult of Islam and you became a wonderful Christian. That's wonderful, my friend. Now, look at this verse here in front of you. Do you see something stupid there? Uh, if you befriended them, very no, no, no. Do you see something uh, wrong, uh, strong? There is something stupid. It says here, Verily Allah, mm -hmm. guide not the one who is wrongdoing people. Does it say that? Guide not, uh, verily Allah guide not a wrongdoing. Let me, I have a different easy translation. One no second. problem, read, 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 read the easy translation. I like easy translation. Easy is my last name. Okay, Allah guides not the wrongdoing people. Okay, the, the Allah doesn't guide the wrongdoing people. Okay, yeah. Okay. Don't you see this is stupid? I mean, if Allah don't guide the wrongdoing people, he will guide one. The one is guided? That is true. Don't you don't you see this is stupid? I like I, I always have these questions. Okay, um, regarding this, I go and ask them uh, because I have some Muslims uh, uh, friends who tell keep telling me, hmm. uh, you know, that we can be friends with anyone. We are peaceful and everything. And still last year, I was not practicing all these things because I was you know enjoying my life and everything. But last year, I got serious about this. Hmm. And uh, now, th then why did, did they tell me that I can be friends with everyone? Because they are lying to you. This is it's called taqiyya, you know. They are saying to you, you can be friends with them, so you can make them not, not, not read a friend. But in, in India, people think, you know, this is, uh, uh, like, I'm okay, I understand this, uh, like, and I cannot be friends with them. I mean, I have a, 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 a mm, yeah, so one guy, he was telling me that, you know, Muslim kill people. Hmm. And I, I told him that this is not the religion friend, we have. Friend, we are friend. people of my, peace my, and we, my, my we don't do that. If they call. It's not about he say, she say. This is, doesn't work. It's what he said. This is a Quran. So we, uh, can you show me in the Quran where uh, he, he tells to kill people? I mean, uh, I... Sure, you know, chapter... They, uh, to, to kill, I, I will show you to kill the Christians specifically. You know, they kill the Christians specifically. Chapter 9, verse I mean, number... Can, is there anything about like killing the non-believers... Yes, they don't but, but the, for me yeah. first, let me show you the Christians. Fight against those, chapter 9, verse 29. This is specifically to kill the Christians. You see the translation says fight. But in Arabic it says, Qatilu. Qatilu is coming from the word, Qatala, kill. Qatilu ladina la yu'minuna billahi wala bil yawm al-akhri wala yuharrimuna ma harram allahu wa rasulahu. Kill those who believe not in Allah, neither the last day, Neither they forbid what Allah forbid, and they don't believe in the religion of the truth. From who? Min al utul kitab, hatta juzya an yadin wa hum From those who they are Christians or Jews, until they pay the jizya with the humiliation, or they have to die. It is Surah nine twenty nine. Mm -hmm. One second. Quran. 
يقتل killing is killing somebody kill قاتلو. قاتلو. you can ask anyone what قاتلو. you can take it right now to the dictionary in Google translation you see قاتلو is a word mean fight to kill it's not just a fight because we can fight by hands we are um, a man and wife maybe are fighting so the word fight uh, in English I, I, is very... I just yes I just checked it it says uh... Kill or murder violently. Thank you. So it is kill and murder. Okay. So Allah is saying murder the Christians, murder the Jews, for they refuse to accept Allah teaching and his apostle. Either they die or they pay money. What kind of a prophet? If we pay, pay him, we can you see look look at this corrupt prophet. He is he is so angry because we are worshiping Jesus, not Allah. But if we pay him money, he have no problem. Okay, worship Jesus, no problem. You are protected now. Give me money. This is exactly what the mafia they do. Actually, the word mafia, the gang of the mafia in Italy came from the Arab. After the Arab occupied Sicily and some territory in Europe, those when the Arab they've been kicked out, the Muslims, the European, the bad ones, the criminals, they learn from the from Muhammad. To do gang business, so they go to stores and they say, "We protect you. Pay us, jizya." So Muhammad here is showing us the hypocrisy of a prophet. Because what kind of a prophet? Let us say Muhammad is a religious man. He believes in Allah, and nobody deserves to be worshipped except him. And there is no one have the right to do so. And I'm going to kill anyone who do that. Okay, how come if we pay him money, he have no problem? <clears throat> Okay, uh, so this is not only about uh, Christians and this is also not about non-believers? No, this is only about the Christians and the Jews specifically. This verse is only about the Christians. But it says in the same time, it says, fight those who believe not in Allah, which means everybody including, but including specifically the Christians and the Jews. And do you know why he ordered to fight the Christian and the Jews? If you read the verse before it, you will see the reason. Muhammad, he ordered that no non-Muslim can enter Mecca. Okay. Mm -hmm. And now there is no business. People are, nobody, he killed the Jews. Everybody ran away. No business. So they fear a property. What we will do now? There's no business. Nobody's coming here. Everybody is scared from, from, this, from the, this new terrorist group. It's called Muhammadan religion. So Muhammad, he said to them, but and if you fear poverty, Allah shall present you and presently enrich you out of his grace. Okay, how attack the Christians and the Jews and take their money. Do you see it? Yes, I can. Be, yeah. <laughs> what a thief. A pirate. So he is saying to them, okay, you are you are free or go, you, you will be poor. No, no, you will not be poor. We have a solution. We attack the Christians and the Jews. And we force them to pay us money. Is this still happening? Well, if they can, they will. I just did practice it. But nobody can practice it because now the Christians are not weak. The one who is weak is Muslims. Can you um, can you force America to pay Jizya? Can you force France to pay Jizya? Can you force England to pay Jizya? Can you force... Uh, I, I don't want to force anyone. But this is Islam, my friend. It's not you. I'm not saying... I'm saying... You are saying, is it, ha is it happening? Because they cannot do it. You see, there is a... There is a, there is a, there is a shake. There is a shake in Egypt. His video is in YouTube. He was saying, if we, the reason we are poor in this country, and this is Egypt, that because we stop jihad, can you imagine how much money there is in Europe? How many blonde women we can bring and sell them? He's saying that in TV. Really? Yeah. 
there's a woman from from Kuwait she is saying that we should go and buy a, a, a lot of a blonde women from uh, uh, Sarajevo from Al Bosna there's a lot of uh, 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 people we can buy from there and she's a woman she's a Muslim woman and the videos in YouTube the the uh, okay uh, when the ISIS attacks happened okay mm. uh, I remember asking uh, this uh, these guys they are the imams and I, I asked them uh, like why these people are taking the name of Islam and doing this mm. and um, they said they are bad Muslims we are not supposed to do that what was Muhammad a bad Muslim no. Okay. Well, look what Muhammad said. You tell me what you think. This is what Muhammad said. Because when they say to you, they are bad Muslim, that's mean they are not following the Prophet, correct? But the Prophet, he just said, go and kill them and take their money. All right. And look, here we go. This is this is the, this is what your uh, your Prophet is teaching. So you I are the best. Is doing, I, I, listen, I mean, I uh, listen, my, my question friend, was This asked. is your Prophet. Yeah. This is your Prophet saying. Reported by Abu Huraira. You, you, the true Muslims, are the best people ever raised for the mankind. Means the best people forever for mankind is as you bring them with the chains around their necks till they embrace Islam. Do you see it? Uh, I, the verse is not yet popped up. Hmm. Take your time. I'm waiting. Yeah, no, I'm okay. narrated. So Abu was Muhammad a bad Muslim or is a good Muslim? You true Muslims are the best ever raised for mankind. As you bring them with chains on them. Which oh, is this? In, uh, which translation is this? Well, what do you mean translation? Uh, this is your most I mean, which this, is, uh, this is this is uh, this is uh, uh, Sahih Bukhari, Hadith number eighty, book number sixty. And yeah, if you, you don't, I don't mind, can I write it down? This is your Muslim website. Uh, yeah, let me. I will send you the link for you, sir, if you want. Here we go. I will send you the link to your chat. But uh, how it is pos possible that you know? They give us a very different picture in India. My friend, Islam. because you do not know the language, you don't have knowledge. They they fool you. They lie to you. You see, it's allowed in Islam to lie. Muhammad even he says Allah he will not take you accountable for your false oaths. So you can even you can swear by Allah, saying anything as long you are defending Islam and religion of Allah, it's fine. There's a there's a video of a sheikh. He was speaking about how a wonderful Muslim he brought a Jew to Islam. How? The video is there, even translated in, in Memory TV. He was saying that the, mm. there's a, there was a Jew, and obviously this story, by the way, I, I believe it's a fabrication, but this is the mentality, just to show you. So there is a Jew who is neighbor to a Muslim. And okay. the Muslim, he keeps saying to him, why you don't convert to Islam? The Jew, he said, well, I like to smoke and I like to drink. The Muslim, he said to him, who told you you cannot, you cannot uh, drink and smoke? The Jews, he said, yeah, really? He said, yes, convert to Islam. So the guy, he said Shahada. And then after he said Shahada, he said, listen, now you became a Muslim. If you practice smoking or uh, drinking, we will whip you. He said, but you just said to me, I can. He said, yes, you can now before you became a Muslim. <laughs> and the Sheikh is talking about how amazing and smart this Muslim. It's a real story. Well, this is what he's saying. He claimed to be a real story. According to the Sheikh in the TV, he claimed that this is read a story. So in India, this Mus okay, uh, the Muslim in India, uh, when when this all is happening and and when they say we are not a part of it, you know, they they do all the nice food things around. So are they really this following? Is, this is just for the dawah, just to to fool people, make them Islam is a merciful religion. Uh, Islam is a, is a good religion. This is just for propaganda, and the money is coming from Saudi Arabia to increase the number of Muslims. That's all. It's a it's a political agenda, so they can take over a country. But the reality is different. You see, they are nice as long they are not the biggest population. The second they became population, they will become Pakistan. Go to Pakistan and see how nice they are to the Christians. I I I have a very major question to you. Mm. Okay, the triple talaq got banned in India. Mm. And we protested against that. Mm. Okay, uh, I heard from the Imam. It is a nice thing for a woman to have a choice, but I didn't understand what choice they have mm. in that. Okay, so can you give me a little ex explanation friend, on that? How, how it is a choice? If the man 
is divorcing the women. That's that is what I said. Okay. Okay. S secondly, secondly, then, just to show you that Muhammad is a false prophet. Mm -hmm. If a man he divorced his wife three times, after that, mm -hmm. what 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 will happen? Do you know what is next? No, they just said uh, a woman will have a choice, and they said something in Arabic. I didn't understand that. No. Okay. After the husband he divorced her three times. This is the practice. Then okay. the man, uh, that man, he cannot get back his wife back, even if he have ten children from her, unless she go and find a new Muhammad and she sleep with him. She take off her panty. They do boom boom, and then after that, the guy, the other guy, he divorce her. Then the, the previous husband, he can carry her in the back of his truck, and this is in chapter two, verse number two thirty. Verse number chapter two. 230 okay hmm. to al yeah the couch okay. chapter we have a zoo in this okay book. and if he has divorced her for the third time she's unlawful to him after until she marries the husband other than it means it is mandatory to marry someone else to absolutely uh, she cannot come back if he divorced her three times not just saying the word three time divorce. No, if he divorced her three times, so you say he says he divorced her, and then he divorced her, and then he divorced her three times. She cannot get back to her husband unless she find a new Muhammadan. He marry her, and then the hadith says from your prophet that the new husband he have to taste her juice, and she have to taste his juice. Oh, this is this is bad. Yeah, and I, I never heard of this. I ne never heard of this. For sure I just never. knew that mm. that that we, when you say three times the luck, it is in heaven. Allah, Allah, for Allah, you're no more a man and a wife. Mm. I mean, you're not husband and wife anymore. Mm. And then a man can go his way, a woman can go her, her way. Okay, let me let me That's, here we go. This is the hate in front of you. It says that the prophet, and this is the Muslim translation, trying to make it look nicer. They say. You cannot get back to your previous husband unless you teach you you taste his sweetness and he tastes his your sweetness. But this in Arabic it says Usaylatahu. Enter you taste you 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 taste his sweetness and she tastes your sweetness. All right. This is verse two thirty, right? Uh, no, yeah. Uh, now this is a hadith. I'm I'm showing you the the prophet explained the hadith. A woman she gonna okay. go back to her husband. Mm. This is the wife of okay. a, a guy. His name is Rifa. She wanted to go back to her husband. Muhammad okay. said to her, if your intention is to marry this man, so just you can get back to your husband, previous husband, you cannot do that unless he tastes your juice and his your juice. And I can show you right now that the word Usayilatuki mean your orgasm. So what kind of religion say? That a woman, she cannot give back to her children because her stupid husband, he divorced her. What's her fault? Unless she go, and she tastes the orgasm of a new guy. Is that a religion of God? And what is the wisdom in this? If if this is a punishment for the previous husband, this is not because the one who is going to be humiliated is the woman. The poor woman, okay. I assure you, she don't care for this stupid husband. She want to go back to her babies. We know how, how, how mothers are, right? Women, yeah, yeah, you, know, yeah. you, you, you can destroy a woman by taking her babies from her. So she don't care for the husband, obviously, because he's an idiot. But she want to go back to her babies. She have a family. But in order to get back now, she have to taste the orgasm of a new man. And after she do oh that, this man, God. he have to let her go. And then she can go back to the previous husband. And this is your prophet saying that. And this is Sahih Hadith, as you see. Sahih Islam. Okay. Hmm? So what do you think? Taste is your sweet. What is the word for sweetness? Can you tell me? Asila, Asila, Asila. I can show you right now. Let me open the dictionary. That the word Asila okay. means orgasm. Give me a second. Hold okay. on. I will open the Islamic dictionary so they will not say it's making things up. You know them. No, I, 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 I agree to what you say because I can read it over here. I don't. I'm up. I'm really upset. Here, here we go. On, this uh, is the word Asila, my friend. This is the word Asira, and this is your Islamic dictionary. I will put in the screen. Asira, oh, one second. Asira. The page has not loaded yet. Uh -huh. It's mean orgasm. Okay, one second. This is just a dictionary. I have nothing to do. It's called Al Ma'ani.
Oh my. All right. And uh, why do they translate it in such a way? What what they will get out of this by fooling people? What they will uh, get? Always they lie in translation. And let me ask you another question. Well, you know, yeah. why the women she will be the price for somebody divorcing her? What about punishing the man? I mean, the man is the one who divorced her. She is just a victim. Secondly, let me ask you, who who is the one who opened a school of Harry Potter to teach magic so the man and the wife will fight? Have you ever heard of su such a story? No, no, not. Okay. Well, do you know that Allah is the one who opened a school for magic and the purpose of this is school? So the man and the wife will fight and will get divorced? You mean like Harry Potter? Harry Potter. Here we go. This is a chapter 2, verse number 102. It says, And they follow that which Satan recite in, in, the, in the region of Suleiman. And Suleiman, bless him not, but Satan's bless him. Teaching people magic. Look, this is a false translation. Okay. Uh, teaching people magic. And they follow that also, which was sent down into the two angels, Harut and Marut. Now, if we change the translation, you know, okay. Who, okay, you can change any translation you want. Who is the one who taught the magic? Harut and Marut. And those Harut and Marut, two angels sent by Allah in the Babylon Tower, and they open a school like Harry Potter. And then when they teach somebody magic, they, they, they make them sign disclaimer, disclaimer, disclaimer. They say into them, we taught you this as a temptation. As what? As a temptation. Okay. okay. And what is the purpose of this temptation? So you can make, say they might separate the man from his wife. Let me change this translation. It's really kind of stupid translation. Very, very weird. I think this guy, he used Google translation or something. Okay. Uh, let me uh, find uh, You want me to read it? Uh, you, you can. Okay. Read it from your own translation. I don't know what translation you are using. Um, just a normal word, simple word. I don't know the name of the uh, translation. No I just downloaded it. All right. Yeah. Uh, and they followed what devils had recited during the reign of Solomon. Mm. Uh, it was not Solomon who disbelieved, mm. but uh, the disbelie devils disbelieved, mm. teaching people magic, mm. that which was revealed to the two angels at Babylon, mm. uh, Harut and Marut. You mentioned that. Mm. Uh, but the two angels do not teach anyone unless they say we are a trial. So do not believe by practicing magic. Uh, do not be this. Okay. Do not disbelieve by uh, practicing <laughs> magic. Oh, the my. I mean, I mean I ask, so look at this. The one who is behind divorce, according to Islam, is Allah. Allah, he sent two angels in a special mission to open Harry Potter school. And the, the school have a special degree. They give you a certification in divorce problem. They don't teach you magic about how to make something appear, disappear. No. They have a special skills. And the skills is, we will teach you how to make magic so you can make the man and the wife fight and get divorced. How in the world anyone can believe in such a madness? And I want to tell you, in my lifetime, I never heard about this. My verse. friend, you are talking to Christian Prince. I said nothing to you yet. Hmm? Trust me, I said nothing to you. So I, I mean, I mean, they uh, they tell me, okay, I like I can be honest with you now. Hmm. They they tell me that you know uh, Christians and Jews are the disbeliever of Allah. Hmm. Okay, they they parted, they changed their scriptures, their their books are corrupted. Mm. Okay, and uh, I I asked them very honest because I I am a guy who 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 will uh, you know try to ex examine at least what they tell me. Mm. Okay, yeah, so they tell me like Christian their books they cor they corrupted their books and they give me all the examples of uh, uh, books being written sixty years after. Uh, 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 Jesus and and they tell me that okay. you know. Uh, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. When say this, yeah. when they say to you, there's a book written sixty years after Jesus. When the Quran written? Uh, I mean, yeah, that question. <laughs> that question to me. And yes, when the Hadith yes. written, the Hadith is three hundred years after Muhammad. 
when the Quran but written, the, the Muslims until now they didn't have the Quran of Muhammad, neither the Quran of Uthman, neither the Quran we have today, the, the, the most popular Quran is called the Mus'haf of Uthman. Nobody have it. They have it according to the recitation of a guy, his name is Hafs, and Hafs was exist 200 years after Muhammad. So look at the hypocrisy. They say to you, there's a Bible written 60 years after Jesus, we don't accept it, but we accept the Quran given to us 200 years by recitation, not by writing. In the same time, in the same time, the Muslim themselves, they accuse this guy, his name is Hafs, to be a fraud. They themselves, they say he's a fraud, and they don't accept any hadith from him because he's a liar. So how do you accept the Quran from him? So my friend. Okay, he, that guy has, uh, Hafs has a hadith as well, and yeah, they, they, told, yeah, they don't accept that. See, they so how do you accept the Quran from hadith. Hafs? Okay, so Hafs, you see, the hadith is a lower uh, level of mm. scriptures, let us say, right? So mm -hmm. how you mm -hmm. refuse the lower and you accept the higher to be to, to witness for it? This is the most stupid argument ever, right? The first translation was from Hafs. There's no translation. I mean the first, this recitation. recitation. I mean the first the recitation. Okay. Yeah. That Huff, is Huff's, yeah, from Hafs. You can go right now and search. You will see that the Muslim themselves they agree that Hafs and his father, because Hafs he he learned the Quran from his stepfather, Asim. So Hafs. And Asim both are a fraud according to who according to Muslim Sunni So how they are a fraud, but you take the Quran from them even not only they are saying they are liars They are saying they are thieves. They, they are thieves So how Why we do can they accept Quran from them then yeah, how they accept the Quran from them And mm -hmm. how the Quran says that Muhammad he confirmed what is between their hands Musaddiq al ma'ahum. he confirmed what is between their hands this is in the Quran. Muhammad, he confirmed what is between our hands. So how, how he confirmed what is with us? It's not for something, you know, uh, 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 it is not something was in the past, uh, in many translations, they say to you. Here we go. This is the Arabic. It says, Musaddiq agree uh, believe in what with them not in the past if you click at the translation you will see you will say what was with them but it doesn't say that you see here they say what was with them in Arabic it doesn't say that it change the translator you will find you will find different translation hmm. yeah all of this is just because and you know, do you remember the verse I showed you where it says, actually you are the one who says to me yes, that uh, Muhammad is in the Torah, right? In the Injil? Yes, okay. yes. So if this book is corrupt, so how Muhammad is witnessing for it? Because when you say to me, my, my name is Rayer, it's mean you agree with the book. I actually, actually I listened to Zakir Naik and it's huh? uh, Zakir Naik and he's teaching a lot. Yeah. Okay. And um, I've, I've been to his conference when he was here. Right, 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 right now he's not allowed in India for uh, some reasons. Mm. Uh, yeah, so uh, that's that's where he told that the Muhammad is mentioned in the Bible in somewhere. I don't remember the chapter. Uh, Robert Muhammad is mentioned in the Bible. I can cut for you the verse, and I can prove it for you in two seconds. I mean, this this is a stupid thing. No problem. <laughs> But look at this. They said, this uh, is a Muhammad chapter two. Team. This is a chapter two, verse number forty-one, and this is the Mohammedan translation. Does it say, "And believe in which I have sent down, confirming that which is with you"? Okay. Which which is with you? That that means uh, the Torah, Torah and the yeah, Israel, yeah, right? sure, sure, yeah. He's speaking. Here we go. He's speaking to the children of Israel. Remember my favor okay. upon you, and fulfill my covenant. And shall fulfill your covenant, and me alone shall you dread, and believe in which I have sent to you, which is with you. Does it say that? Yeah, he he. Okay, so can, can you tell me the time frame he said? Did he say said My this? My friend, it doesn't matter. Of... You see, time frame. There's no time frame in the in, the, in Islam, the, the, the Islam. No, 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 no. What what I'm I'm trying to ask mm -hmm. is, uh, like uh, Muhammad died in uh, 1632, right? Uh -huh. Okay, I I read a little bit of history as well to understand this more clearly, okay. to be more sure. Uh, 
uh so this verse when when he he said this okay was it this in uh, mecca or medina well you see the the the, the muslims they have uh, they have their own let us say schedule they claim but there's no confirmation of this but anyway mm -hmm. uh, we can mm -hmm. go right now we can go right now to google uh, okay and you search for quran according to revelation revolution okay revelation Re revelation you know okay. and then yeah, you will yeah, see yeah. what the muslims agree upon for me, I don't care for this stuff because I believe this is all is garbage. There's no way to know which one, which one, you know. Uh -huh. uh, uh, uh -huh. But as long as they are the one who believe in it, this is their business. This is their belief. So we have to go with their belief. Mm -hmm. Then you can go and search for the for uh, uh, Al-Baqarah. Uh, if we go and search for Al-Baqarah, let's see. Uh, I'm going to show it to you in front of your eyes. Okay. There we go. This is according to what? To Revelation. So here you see in the in the left we have the original number and in the right the 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 number which is exists right now in the Quran. So chapter one, the real chapter one is number ninety-six. Chapter one is number ninety-six. All right. So now if we yeah, go number. and find and try to find a chapter two, look where we will find chapter two. 62 68 okay so how what what kind of book i mean who are who allow you no chapter 2 actually is uh, uh, uh sorry a chapter 2 al baqara is chapter number 87 in reality okay 87 okay hmm. al baqara okay yeah yes yeah, right right all right yeah Okay, so who allowed them, even the Muslims, to change those locations? I mean, if Allah He sent it to you in a certain order, who are you to change it? Isn't it the Quran says that corruption is those who you harifun al kalam and muwadi'ah, which means change the location of the words of Allah? Just by changing yes. location of the words of Allah, you are corrupting. And look, do you see it says here, except, read with me carefully, except, yeah. except verse number 281. Mm -hmm. okay, uh, so, okay, except, okay, hold okay, on. Okay, the verse number 281. Right. Okay. So how, who is the one who allow himself to move the verse from different chapter, put it in different chapter? <laughs> Isn't it, this is corruption? Yeah, yeah, it is. And here it says, except this is different chapter, Al-Anfal, -Al which is equal to, uh, uh, to 88. It says here, Okay. This is Medina, except so. This is in the Medina, except okay. verse number 30 and 36 from Makkah. Who are you to change verses who was ma made long before and put it longer? You know, what is that? Who allow you to move verse number 30 and 30? Because this will change the whole thing, right? If I insert a sentence in any, any story. And the sentence okay. does not belong to here. It's mean the one who said the sentence. He did not mean to be to make it here. Otherwise, well, he should mention it here. What they say over here is that uh, when after Muhammad died, hmm. um, the other other the one who was following the Quran kept receiving revelations. Who who keeps revelations? What the 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 people who gathered the Quran? Yeah. Okay. They 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 had this revelation how to Where you is know, the revelation? Uh, are, are they, there is, uh, isn't it Muhammad the last prophet? If you if you if you receive revelation, it's mean you are a prophet. That's what I yeah, that's <laughs> what it is. Yeah. My friend, isn't it time for you to leave this cult? I mean you are smarter than this. All of this and be honest with me. Yeah, I mean if, if uh, I have a book, I don't want someone to change it. Yeah, but isn't it time for you after all what you heard? I don't know for how long you are listening to me. Isn't it? This no, I have no. What you what you say? I I really appreciate. Uh, and uh, I I I just uh, uh, I actually I uh, you interrupted. I was about to ask you something okay. uh, when we were talking about that. Little, uh, if if you can, if you're if you have time, you can just uh, you know the la uh, help me with that. Right. Uh, they look. We have Abraham, Musa, and uh, uh, everyone, and and and. Uh, now, when you say that when Quran was written in, uh, uh, like it was written seventh century, 
mm-hmm. and i asked him uh, this question and i i checked history as well and um, uh, the, the jesus was a jew and i i can, couldn't find any other uh, muslim uh, i mean other uh, historical evidence for him being muslim except the quran mm. so is there any other uh, uh, like i want to ask you like do you have any reference where is jesus is not a muslim my friend uh, like to be, to be a muslim first of all first of all to be a muslim is to be like muhammad is that correct yes okay did, did jesus have a child wife jesus as a have a child wife six years old girl uh no no okay. did jesus encourage his followers if you can you want to designate yourself to god is but uh the, hold the, on the question did jesus says go and do jihad and kill those who don't believe in me did jesus says but, it, but doesn't he has been go uh, steal? striving no my friend here we go i just showed you chapter 9 verse 29 it's about stealing the money did jesus say love your enemy or curse your enemy he said love them right jesus says okay. love those who curse you pray for them love your enemy nobody says that muhammad says kill them bring them with the chains around their necks <coughs> so in order for jesus to be a muslim he have to follow a teaching of the cult of islam and obviously he don't jesus is against idol like uh, worshiping idols muhammad he kissed black stones and he go around the kaaba and even muhammad he claimed that uh, if you touch the black stone that will forgive your sin right yeah i heard that yes okay yeah. so how 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 jesus can be the same one who forbid us and warn us from false prophet who will teach the same things as muhammad right so how this is can be and we don't believe and Allah uh, Allah first of all the God of the Bible is a he is a spirit he is a three person one God the God of Islam is not a spirit he has no spirit and he is a physical being so we have different God different nature so what is left the so Bible says is not the, spirit, the, what the, is. the Bible says that the one who insult the Holy Spirit he, there's no forgiveness for him, but Muhammad he claimed that Jibreel is a Holy Spirit. So Muhammad he took names from the Bible, he stole them, he put them in his book, but he do not know what they mean. When the when the Arab they ask Muhammad, what is what is a, a ruh? Yes, alunaka an ruh. He said, a ruh min ilmi rabbi. Muhammad he went and he stayed for forever without answer. And then he come back and he said, Allah only knows. He do not know even what the spirit is. And they asked thee regarding the spirit, say, though the spirit is by the command of my Lord. What does this have to do with the question? They are asking you, what is the spirit? Okay. Hmm? And then Allah, because Muhammad, he took him for long to answer. So he said, he claimed that Allah, he gave me a, a warning that I should not yes, tell yes, you, I will, yes, I will yes, answer yes, you. Yes. So, and if he, if we listed, we could surely take away that which we have revealed into thee. What is that? <laughs> and where is the answer? And then the verse after saying, and say to mankind and genie, Come together and make Quran like this. I mean, how stupid this is. Okay, I have a book. It's called The Deception of Allah. I challenge mankind and genie to make a book like mine. But remember, if you copy my words, word by word, that will be like mine. And that will be copyright problem. How you can challenge them to make a book like this? A book saying the sun set in murky water. But is the... Uh... I uh, um, this is really <laughs> I, I I really find it uh, stupid when I read all this. Exactly. So my friend, you're already out of Islam. I'm not going to ask you to leave now. You said you just said <laughs> this is stupid. So, Mister uh, Ftikar, I'm so happy for you. So you decide to leave Islam, correct? Uh, yeah, I will. St uh, yeah. Thank you I very much. I'm I so happy for you. May praise the Lord. Praise the Lord that we have a person now. He formatted his the virus from his computer, from his heart, from his brain. 
and our friend if they call he called me as a Muslim he is saying goodbye as well to the sea so my friend if they call, what about you accept the Messiah as your Lord as your Savior now uh, can, can, can you tell me tell me a little bit like what Christianity is I mean my friend the Christianity is very simple Jesus is all about love love your enemy not only love your neighbor it means say to you love your neighbor which is not a big deal but I say to you love your enemy I say to you pray for those who curse you imagine the Messiah is all about love and mankind without love are ugly animals do you agree yeah, yeah I do yes imagine, they say Muhammad is masoom yeah I mean yeah but I here we go but Muhammad, masoom, see, yeah. Muhammad is an ugly person Muhammad he trying yeah, to take, I mean, to take things into his account even women while Jesus is it was, true that uh, is it true that Muhammad uh, married uh, his own daughter-in-law or something like that absolutely Zainab yeah Zainab Zainab ibn Tujahsh Zainab the daughter of the donkey they they say Allah commanded it because uh, it was see, written what kind of God why God want to command a man to take a woman from her husband you tell me <laughs> isn't it obvious yes that's you know, what imagine saying, with yeah. my respect to you and your family I say to you I'm a prophet and I receive a command from God and now he told me that I should take your wife I mean is it this is the most disgusting thing ever I mean if, if you do this today you will be killed actually nobody have an honor he will accept that but this is a he was a slave of Muhammad anyway and he, he said to himself if I don't give him obviously they are sleeping together already his wife is she's a cheater you know Muhammad he went to the house of the man and he flirted with her according to the Muslim story imagine this is written in Muslim books that the man okay. his name is Muhammad the Prophet of God he went to his own son by adoption when the husband was not there in the house and he flirted with the wife and he said to her in Arabic subhanu mu'alliful qulub praise be to Allah oh, yeah. the one who made my heart flip for you and then the really? woman she heard it and she told her her her, her husband and in that interpretation it says for Fatina Zaid so Zaid ah, I got it he want my wife and they are together so he went to him and he says prophet I don't want her I don't like her Muhammad he said to him and look at the hypocrisy man Muhammad he just came to the house his house when he was not there an hour ago and he was a flirty with his wife and now when the man he come to him he said to him, no keep your wife man don't divorce her keep her keep her can you imagine a second ago you were flirting with the wife of this guy and then when the husband he come to you he says I want to get rid of her he said no 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 don't divorce her keep her keep her keep her <laughs> and then and then he made the verse saying that Allah asked him why you don't tell the man that you want this woman and I told you she will be yours I mean what kind of what kind of ethical cult this ethic I mean this is pathetic so my friend I invite you to accept the Messiah as your Savior he is the only one is holy the only one is good his name is good his act is good his holiness is more than the holiness itself for he is a pure he said what he do and he do what he say he is yes, he is I the agree. Alpha and Omega he says I am I am the resurrection I am the life I am the truth I am the living God I am who I am everything by him and for him created but because he love us he want to save us so while Muhammad he want him to want you to die for him Jesus he died for us and the death of Jesus is different because when Jesus he humiliate like the Muslim they said to you Jesus the the Jews they did beat him etc you see when you are a humble person anyway you are God who accept to be even a human being that is humiliation right away so Jesus yeah. when he was alive he washed the feet of his followers I think you heard that before right yeah imagine those people they worship him as God but he says to them they said Lord what are you doing they said if you don't let me do it you don't belong to me so we have the Messiah who don't want to be a king when he is the king of kings this is why he says the master is the one who serve the master is the one who serve not the one who want to be served so I ask you right now to accept the Messiah as your Savior for he is serving you imagine you have you have the king of kings he came to us to serve us to serve us salvation to serve us good to teach us to be how good be and and trust me uh, after car the second you accept the Messiah your life will change your life will change right away you will you will you know 
it, uh, I'm not saying you will be out of sin because sin is a process of fighting against it. We have to fight always. We will struggle always against sin because some temptation is all over around us. But Jesus will be a very powerful way to fight your sin and to fight your weakness. You cannot do it alone. But, but by the Messiah, by his name, you can fight sin. If you do sin, you see, if you do sin, and I did sin, I'm not, I'm not better than you. And I'm not better than any one of those who they are listening. Maybe they are way better than me. But by the Messiah, I cleanse myself every day from my ugly sin. There's no salvation because you see, the second you commit a, commit a sin, it's like you are a, gr a glass who have a crack. It doesn't matter how many tape you put in it; it's the crack is there. Do I agree? Yeah, I, I do. Yes. So yeah. sin will make like wounds in your skin. You think you you know okay the the, the wound is closed, but still the wound is there. You can see it. So this is what sin yeah. does to our body. And because we are sinners, we don't deserve to go to the kingdom of the Lord. We don't deserve the invitation. We don't deserve even to be there for a second. Why? We were sinners. How a sinner can be there? But by the Messiah and his glorious teaching and love, we can be saved. So I invite you, my friend, to be my brother in Christ and to accept the Messiah as your savior. I mean, uh, if, if, if I leave Islam, will they literally kill me? My friend, first of all, you don't live in a country where the Muslims are in charge. Secondly, for me, do you see how do you know how dangerous what I'm doing now? Can you imagine? I'm sorry? How, can you imagine how dangerous what I am doing right now? I mean, I, I never. Knew, where are you from? I never knew. I'm an Arab. I'm an Arab. But do you oh know? My how, God. But do you know how dangerous what I'm doing right now? Do you know how many Muslims? Are yes, the yes, world, I you know, I, yeah. So I don't care for me because. We will die once, and salvation is what we care for. The Messiah, he says, don't worry about those who destroy the body, but the one who destroy your soul. So wow. your soul, my friend, is the one to be saved, and you you will live as, you know, you see, fear is our enemy, because when you have fear, anybody can conquer you. Have you ever seen a, a, a lady who saw a cockroach and she jumped in the top of the chair? Yeah, yeah, okay. Have a lot this of is things, because of yeah. fear. I mean, this is fear, but this is a stupid cockroach. He cannot kill you, he cannot hurt you, right? But because we have a fear from we have a phobia from such an insect, so we jump like crazy. And this is like you see in the cartoon, like a little rat, he scared the elephant. So if you a person who have a fear, a little rat will scare the hell of you. But if you are a person who are who is with Jesus, fear is not in your heart. And no rat can scare you. That is a beautiful thing to say. Yeah. So do we accept the Lord, my friend? Yeah. Yeah. I mean to that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to our friend from India. He called us as a Muslim. And then he decided today to accept the Lord as his Lord, his Savior. Praise the Lord. And praise the Lord for sending us such a gentleman. Who decide to leave Islam and now he will be a light for his family. He will be a light for his community He will be a light in the darkness of the darkness Pray for him my friends all of you pray for our brother here. So he will be a lighting tool For the Lord and the people of the Lord for the father. He sent his only begotten son Because he loved the whole world. He don't love the white. He don't love the black. He don't love the Indian He loved us all of us there's no ethnic, there's no color, there's no, there's nothing. You are Asian, you are black, you are white, you are a child of God. And today, my friend, by accepting the Lord as your savior, you are a child of God. You have a crown in your head. Nobody have. Just given to you. The Bible says, a happiness in the kingdom of the Lord will be for one soul is saved. And that is you, my friend. Can, can you help me in one thing, uh, uh, Christian Prince? Sure. Yeah. Uh, uh, I have a lot of people here to answer for my decision. Okay. Uh, and uh, there are some topics, uh, if, if, if you have time. No problem. Uh, like, uh, where, you know, I like, like uh, what you told me, I wrote it down. Okay. And uh, with, with, with proper context of what you've told me in the, in the, <clears throat> 
translation as well i i have a few question if you if you if you if you have time if you can answer that i am here i'm, I'm here to serve you my friend Tell because i i have to answer this people you know because they will ask me okay. uh, questions like this and they are and they are not very easy to talk to okay mm -hmm. and that is also very true okay so i i wanted to the first thing i asked you was uh, uh, like historically i couldn't find that uh, jesus was a muslim and uh, and uh, abraham and everyone and anyone before muhammad was a muslim so i i want to know because you have good knowledge about this and and i in you you have studied i studied this and you you have like better understanding mm. can you tell me if there was any muslim before muhammad my friend islam is not a religion islam is a collection of beliefs and i will explain to you in a very simple way if you go okay. in this verse in the Quran, I will, I will, I will. I don't know if you can see in the screen. Maybe it will take time, but you will see uh -huh. this, which is proving my point. Muhammad, in the beginning, when he was a weak person, he said, mm -hmm. and this is why I told you I don't believe uh, in the order the Muslims they they come with. You know, look look mm -hmm. at this verse, mm -hmm. chapter two, verse number sixty-two. It says. Verily those who believe and those who are Jews and those who they are Christians and those who they are Sabians and Whoever believe in Allah they will go to heaven. Okay, hold on who is left what? Those who they are Jews and those who they okay. are Christians and those who they are Sabians. Sabian they worship stars Yes, yeah, yeah. all right pagans. Yeah, okay So how he promised the pagan stars worshippers to go to heaven? And what they have to do with Allah? If the Muslim they claim that Isa was a Muslim, Adam was a Muslim, Abraham was a Muslim. Okay, that's mean all of them they worship a God. What his name? They say Allah. Okay, wonderful. Now, what the Sabians have to do with this? The Sabian are the true one who worship Allah. Allah is two words: A L and La. A L mean God. La mean the moon. And this is what Muhammad he did. The Sabi and they have Ramadan. What they do, you see, if you go, if you go in the Quran, let me show you another verse. Because always we have okay. to connect. I'm, I'm writing it down. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, you can download the video after we if, after we finish, so you can have all the references. Yeah. You know. Okay. Yeah. I so, uh, when the Muslim they translate to you, and they say to you that uh, when we have uh, uh, the month of Ramadan. The month of Ramadan, what they translate for you? They say to you that the Quran say that those who witness the month of Ramadan, but the fact it does not say the month of Ramadan, it says the moon of Ramadan. In the translation here, they say the month of Ramadan, where the where 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 the where, uh, uh, where the Quran was given to Muhammad, okay, and then okay. it says. Uh, and those who witness the month, but the, the verse doesn't say the word month. It says the word shahr. Shahr in today language, it is it mean month. This is true, but in the time of Muhammad, the word okay. shahr is an is a, is not an Arabic. This is an Aramaic and a Hebrew, which mean the moon. You can go right now to any Hebrew dictionary and say the word shahr. The word shahr is a moon. So. Whoever of you witness the moon of Ramadan, isn't it? This is what the Muslim they do. They witness the moon. Yeah, and the Eid. Yes, yeah. Thank you. So, whoever yeah. of you witness the moon, who is the one who witnessed the moon? This is the Sabian. The Sabian they used to go from the city of Haran. Okay. And they celebrate the first moon, fasting, which means they see the moon, they start fasting, and then they move to different city. Waiting to the moon and they believe this is a new moon. You see there's a moon. It's called the moon of Ramadan okay. I don't know if you're getting my point like we have many balls. Yeah, this yeah, one is yeah, called yeah. the ball Ramadan This one is called so in the in the in the moon of Ramadan is when we start fasting Yeah, and then when we receive The new moon and why they think it's a new moon because the moon changed its shape, right? Yes, yes. So they think there's a new there's a new moon is coming. So this moon is gone, and this is the new moon is coming. 
So when we see the crescent moon, it's a it's a sign when you see other crescent moon, and then the moon start changing and became perfect, etc. And this is how mm. they fast, and this is how they live, and this is exactly they took it from the Sabian. And you will see that Muhammad in the beginning he was fasting the fast of Ashura. Okay, Ashura, according to Aisha, it was a fasting of the pagan. Oh, how Muhammad is Aisha. fasting the fast. How Muhammad is fasting the fast of the pagan? Why? They, they, any, any Muslim can tell us why, why he's fasting. If this is the fasting of the pagan, and then when Ramadan yeah. come, Muhammad he switched from Ashura, and suddenly he wanna switch Ram switch to Ramadan. Where, where was Ramadan before? Isn't it Muhammad? He have the you know. Look at this. Uh, uh, Muhammad he have the Quran in Ramadan anyway supposedly and he did not have the whole book in it He have supposedly the first verse So how you can say the, the 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 Quran came to him in Ramadan secondly why he is fasting the day of the Jahiliya read with me carefully okay. Narrated From Aisha during during the pre-islamic period of ignorance the Jahiliya before Islam Quraysh used to observe the fasting of the day of Ashura Okay, you tell me what Muhammad he shared with the with the with the uh, Arab pagan fasting the same fasting. So, so this is the same practice. It's, it it means this is what I say is not me. Yeah, I mean I read it and I like please my Peter we don't for I shall suffer for sure. Stop the fasting. Oh oh my okay. You see, and then he switched to Ramadan, uh, and not only and that, he, he and he fasted on that day, you know. Yeah, it says he fasted the ring too, fasting. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, he fasted, and not only that, uh, Muhammad and he then came. Ramadan was revealed, and then not only that, look, just to show you how important this Ashura, okay, okay, if Ashura if if it's just a fasting day, I would say, well, not a big deal. I mean, he he, he just did it, but Muhammad he said that the one who fast Ashura, okay. Allah will erase his sin for the previous year. He will erase his sin for the previous year. So why why we will let such a fasting which is going to erase our sin, our sin for a year? Read carefully. This is Muhammad okay. saying. Okay. And this is Sahih again. This is Sunnah at, at, at Turmudi. Okay. Hadith okay. number 752 and it's Sahih. The Prophet okay. said Fast the day of Ashura, for indeed, indeed, Allah will forgive the sin of the year before it. Can you can you highlight that because uh, it, it's not loaded yet? Yeah, I did. When, yeah. <clears throat> It is okay. The fast of the day means, but he just said that you know he saw someone doing it. He observed right, but, someone but doing it. You see here the problem here now. He okay. claimed that if you fast this day, will forgive all the sin previously for the whole year. I mean, is it wonderful how easy it is? <laughs> I just fast one day, and then all the garbage oh. I did for the last year is gone. <laughs> this is stupid. I, it means I can do whatever I want. Exactly, I and not only that. I have no responsibility whatsoever. All what I need to do is stop eating for a few hours. That's the most stupid belief ever. And telling you the corruption of this man. And here suddenly, Muhammad, he dumped this day. Okay, where is where is the verse in the Quran that says Muhammad to uh, fast Ashura? Any Muslim can show us? Where, 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 where he got this from? Obviously, the Aisha, she is saying that he got it from the pagan. So this man, he have no religion. Islam is not a religion. Islam is a collection of other belief. Some from the Christians, some from the Jews, some from the Sabians, some from the Hindus, the black stone from the Hindus. Uh, uh, the, the Hajj is from the Hindus. Uh, showing your shoulder the same as the Hindu. Shaving your head around when you go around the Kaaba, the same as the Hindus. This is all is a Hindu practice. The clothes of the Hajj, all of it is a Hindu. And not only that, yeah. Islam, because it's coming. Have you ever heard, ever heard the Muslim saying to you, that Adam himself came from India. 
No, I have not heard we that. Can search Adam. It right Adam, now you can search right now. Adam, you mean, right? Yeah, prophet Adam, supposedly. According for them, he's a prophet. I don't know yeah, how he will prophet to I mean, this guy, he's he's just, prophet, he just yeah. he's only his wife, and he will be prophet for who anyway. So he Indian himself, uh, Adam, he's an Indian, and that explains a lot of things. The Kaaba, the black stone, the Shiva, uh, uh, the the private part, which is the black stone, all of those really? things is coming from the in the, yeah. If you go right now, check how a Hindu priest he dress, mm -hmm. showing his shoulder, one shoulder, mm -hmm. right? Naked shoulder. And how Muslims yeah. they go and wear the same sheet? It's just it's a sheet, same yeah, sheet. Have, yeah, yeah, yeah. And they shave their head yeah. the same as the Hindus, and they have a black stone the same as the Hindus, which is presenting as a sexual organ. So Islam oh, is a collection God. of, and not only that, it, even 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 the the Muslim books mm -hmm. confirm that the Arab they used to practice sexual belief around the Kaaba. The Muslim, they say to us, the Muslim, they, they worship Allah. Okay, uh, but how they worship Allah? If Allah is God, He is the God of Abraham. What made mm -hmm. what made people uh, go around the Kaaba totally naked? My God, I was supposed to go there next. And day even next when year. you meet Allah in the in the in the, in the uh, when the Muslims they go to heaven, Allah will mm -hmm. meet them totally naked. All of what them, naked? All the Muslims will be naked when they go to Allah. But look at this here. Okay. Uh, this is the hadith. This is Sahih Muslim. It says, Ibn Abbas, yeah. It says here in the authority of uh, Ibn Abbas, the authority of Ibn who? Uh, Hisham narrated the authority of his father and the uh, uh, Arabs with an exhibition of Hamas for all of our say it says they keep circulating in the state of nudity Do you see it? Mm -hmm. Okay, why the Arab nudity. going around the Kaaba in the state of nud nudity? What is the religion was there? I became similar to the father naked with the exception of why did they do naked? I mean, I read something because the it's a sexual be religion, my friend. Because let me tell you, in the Islamic tafsir, it says that women who don't have cannot carry babies, they want babies. The black stone presents the god of fertility, the god of sex. So, what the, what they do when the woman she have a problem to have babies, or any woman she want to get babies, she go to the Kaaba. When she have her administration, and this is why she and then she touched her private part with the blood coming from her private part, yeah, and she's oh naked, and she, she play, and then she place it inside the black stone, and then the husbands they come after or the men, and they wrap their private part in the black stone, and that will make them later have babies. That is a uh, uh, the Islamic back. Uh, uh, I mean. Uh... Uh, tafsir or uh, bani my, uh, my friend, I can show is, you. I can show you as an example here. Let's see uh, the okay. part about. I just have to write it down. Yeah. That's why I'm, I'm asking you. Yeah, no problem. I will give you even the link so Muslims cannot say. Um, yeah. Because it is very challenging what you say, uh, and and I, I, I whatever you told me till now, I, friend, I, I, I am, appreciate I am, that. Yeah, yeah. I am here to challenge it's, them as you see live on air. I'm not here. I'm not here speaking because I will. I will make my friends, uh, Muslim friends, watch this video as well, uh, because we we believe and uh, then the same thing that we have to be peaceful. We have to good with others, and then. Well, I wish my friend. I wish this <laughs> ah. is. I wish this is the true Islam. I would. I truly wish. Trust me. I truly wish. Okay, here we go. And, uh, this is. Yeah. I'm going to show you in the screen. This is an Islamic website. Okay. All right. This is a yeah. very Islamic website. It's called Nida ul Iman. Nida ul Iman. Mawqi'u yeah. kulli al Muslimin. All right? Now, uh, this is the Muslim. library. Kitab ul Hawi fi tafsir al Quran. What, what book? Al Hawi fi tafsir al Quran. All right. Okay. So now we go down. And we will see the following. This is not my words. 
you don't speak mm -hmm. Arabic, but no problem. You can use Google Translation. I can give you the link. It says yeah, here. You can. Here we go. Okay. I will give you the link so I don't forget later. Yeah. I, I cannot post it in YouTube because uh, it have Arabic words in the top. You know what I mean? The uh, YouTube yeah, yeah, became yeah, very yeah. long and YouTube will not accept it. But yes. here we go. This is the link. You have it. It says uh, they are talking about the building of the Kaaba. وقيل وقيل بناه من خمسة أجبل طورس إنا وطور زيتا ولبنان والجودي etc. So they are talking about uh, uh, the building of uh, of the Kaaba, which is made by uh, supposedly Ibrahim, and he is saying this is where it's built from. And then it says. وَجَاءَهُ جِبْرِيلُ بِالْحَجَرِ الْأَسْوَدِ مِنَ السَّمَاءِ And Jibreel, he came with the black stone from the sky. Okay. And it okay. says, وَتَمَخَّضَ أَبُو, قو... أبو قُبَيْسِ فَانْشَقَّ عَنْهُ Abu Qubais is a little tiny uh, mountain, or let's say hill, uh, close to the Kaaba in Mecca. And it says, okay. وَقَدْ خُبِّئَ فِيهِ أَيَّامُ الطُّوفَانِ So the, the, the mount of Abu Qubais, he delivered that stone. He swallowed it when there was the flood of Noah. And then, he he spit it up from the mountain, and it was hiding inside it. And it and it used وَكَانَ يَقُوتَ بَيْضَ مِنَ الْجَنَّةِ and he was a white pearl from heaven. And but when فَلَمَّا لَمَسَتْهُ الْحَيْضُ فِي الْجَاهِلِيَةِ إِسْوَدْ but when the blood of menstruation touched it during the time of jahiliya, which means the pre-Islamic period, the black okay. stone became black because of the blood because of specifically the ministration of women not blood only it says al hayd anyone anyone who speak arabic he knew that what hide me and, and then then why do they say that you know it takes your sin away i mean uh, it, it, yeah this it, is what exactly people. because those women my friend those women who they are okay. touching their private part with the blood and they put it inside okay. the black stone they believe because they, they, they did something wrong to the gods this is why he is not letting their private part carry a baby. It so, could, so, so, it so what like they do? What, so what me. they what they believe that by touching that black stone, that black stone is like giving their blood to the black stone. The black stone is the hand of God, which is going to bless their vagina, and then they will carry a baby. So it's a way to get rid of your sin and receive the blessing of the God of fertility. That is pathetic. And as you see, this is a Muslim translate. I mean, this is a Muslim interpretation. I have nothing to do with it. This and is the book of because we, we, there are people who don't understand this language. You know, they they come and give stories, different stories. Well, for me, they cannot play the game with me. They can say to you, you don't know Arabic, etc. And you know, yeah. anyone who speak Arabic here, who is willing to call us and read what what I'm saying, who is in the yeah. chat? He is a Muslim. He speak Arabic. He is willing to call me right now. I'm proving that I'm lying. Who want to do that? May they, may they, may they. Anyone who no. say, yes, I'm a Muslim in the chat, give us immediately your Skype and we will call you immediately. Actually, I think there's a somebody, he is a Muslim in the chat already and he is trying to contact me maybe. Let us see if he is there. Maybe he can read for us. Uh, yeah. No. There's somebody text me. Can they call this Skype ID below? Ibrahim. Uh, there's a guy, his name is Ibrahim. Let us see if this guy, maybe he can he can do that. Any other question, my friend, you want from me? Uh, uh, I'm, uh, there are, I mean, uh, there are, like, you know, I just uh, decided to go uh, away from this, you know, and uh, and there are a lot, but I, I, I see you are a busy guy. I mean, you have... No, my friend, I'm not busy. You can answer no, no, me no, no, later. No, I'm, not my, I'm not busy, my friend. I'm here, yeah. I'm here to help you. I'm not busy from you, you see. Uh, uh, I'm just trying to. Uh, uh, I'm hoping to get some Muslims to call us. So they can read for you yeah. what is in front of me, so they will not say, "Oh, he, this is an Arabic." How we know that this is what it says? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I understand you know I mean? that. Yeah, because and they will say his line. So who is the one? Maybe we can get uh, Mimi Hijab to call us and read for us. He speak Arabic. I, he speak I mean, Muhammad Hijab. Yeah, I he speak Hebrew to too. Eli Elijah yeah. mean God with us. Uh, I mean, the way he debates, um, Muhammad Hijab, I don't appreciate that because you cannot insult someone who is, you know, in, in, on an academic level. Uh, I have seen his debates uh, with uh, the guy, Christian guy, I don't remember his name. 
uh, Trinity, some topic. I don't, I don't really know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I saw that you know he was making fun of him, and I mean this is not a right. You, it's an academic level. He is just. You know, I mean, this is the, those are doing business. Those are not. They don't know what they're talking about. None of those people they hear. You know, they are a bunch of kids. And you know, uh, YouTube is a great opportunity. They don't have jobs. This guy, he, he lost his job, and he is trying to make some business. That's the story. But anyway, uh, yeah. can you prove your deceiver? But I don't speak Arabic. Okay, Muhammad Qasim, he can prove my deceiving. So I'm going to let him call me. What do you think, my friend? Do you want to hear Muhammad Qasim? You want to call me? Yes, yes, yes. Right. Wonderful. Well, Wonderful. thank you, and I may the Lord bless you. And we are happy that you accepted Christ as your savior. And feel free to join the chat if you have a questions. And uh, you know, yeah. I will be happy to to uh, to ask you. Thank you. Uh, if if we can get some time later, you know, we can have a, just a small no discussion. Problem. No problem. Anytime. No problem. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good advice. Bye. Right. Hallelujah. Here, our friend. He called as a Muslim. He hang up as a Christian. What do you want more? He is saved. Now let us call Muhammad Qasim, who said he can expose my lies. Muhammad Qasim, I'm trying to call you. Are you online? It says you are not online. So what do you mean you don't speak Arabic? You cannot, you cannot get me busted. Am I lying? It says there that the women of blood from period made the black stone black. Yes or no? And why you are not online? I thought you want to speak to me. Hmm? Actually, we can do right now in the front. You know what? Hold on. I will do this. I will open the website with Prophet Google Peace upon him. And we will do Google Translation. Even Google Translation is not good, as you know. You know, it's, it's a silly translation. But that will do the job a little bit for, you know. Let us see if Google Translation can work. I will open the page in Google Translation, in Google uh, page. Here we go. And I will do this. Translate in the front of your eyes. Is that fair, guys? Yeah. Let us see. OK. Now we have it in English. So this is very long. So let us search for the words to find it fast. I will search for the word white. I'm typing in Arabic. Hold on. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Guys, do you read with me what it says? Or I'm making things up. This is the stupid Google translation, which is far away from what is really accurate. But we'll do the job. So it was hiding the black stone inside the mountain of Abu Qubais. And Abu Qubais, he gave birth to the stone. He spit it out because Allah, he hide the stone in Abu Qubais, brother, during the flood of Noah. <laughs> and then it was hiding in the days of the flood and it was white as pearls coming from paradise. But when the ministration, when the ministration touched the black stone, became a black. Yes, Muhammad. Yeah, hello. Yes, Muhammad. What, what, what is your comment about the black stone become black? Yeah, hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Um, so yeah, I can debunk every point that you mentioned. You deceiving right, the guy. Start, start with this one. Does it say in the book of Al Hawi in the interpretation that the women they touch the black stone by their ministration? Al Hawi is not hujja for us. It's not evidence for us. It's not what? It's not hujja for us. Hujja, hujja means proof. Yeah, for no, no. It's, you see, it's not hujja. So this is your Islamic scholars. They are not hujja for you. But wh why Al Hawi? Why, 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 so why Al Hawi? Why Al Hawi want to say? Who, why Al Hawi want to say such a thing? I don't know. You have to ask him. So you are the Muslim <laughs> who is calling me to get me busted, and you are telling me I do not know. So what do you know? 
I'm saying, I say, I'm, I'm saying that who cares what he no, says? No, no, like, we if care, said, we care because you see, because you see, you see, if this guy is no one, why his book is even in the Islamic libraries if he is not to be considered to someone to teach you the Quran? Listen, we, we, there, in, in, in Islamic libraries, we have fabrication, uh, fabrication. No problem. Narrations. Okay. So we, can, we, we collect every every historical right. thing. All right. We, we don't. In do Islamic the library, did you hear this guy? We have fabrication. Is that the Quran? No. Okay. Let me ask you. Do you accept what your prophet say? Of course. Okay. Did your prophet describe the angels? Are they are they human? The angels. They come in human forms, but they are not uh, human by. Uh, okay, by but essence. the angels when they are in the sky, are they in a human form? Um, not from what I know. No. Okay. No. Don't tell me either. You say yes or no. I mean, they could become a human if they wanted. This is not the question. The angels in the sky are they human or they are angels? From what I've read, the angels. So they are not in a form of a human, right? Yeah, the, from what I've read, yeah. Okay. So, how you explain to me as an example this hadith? Just to show you, because anything I will say to you, you will say we have a lot of garbage in our books. I agree, you know, but the garbage is coming from your prophet, not from anyone. Here we go. Is that your prophet saying the truth or his line? That Wait, yeah, between the loop, that one. the angels have a loop of his ears, and he is in heaven, and he is the one who carried the chair of Allah. The distance between the loop of his ear and his shoulder is a journey of 700 years. So how this, this is not human, obviously. Well, you are saying to me, uh, you, uh, a form of angel, the form of angel has a loop and he have ears and he have shoulders. Yes, of course, if, that, if that's what the prophet is saying, that's okay, what, hold that's on. what yes. So while you're a prophet, he said he saw Jibreel and he have 600 wings. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so if you have 600 wings, you have a shoulder? Why can't you have a shoulder and, and wings? I never heard of a, 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 a you have 600 wings. Where is your shoulder located? I don't know. Have you, have you ever seen an angel? You don't know how it looks you, like. Don't tell me, have you ever seen your prophet? Have your prophet? When you see okay, it, hold you on. This is a good question. This is, the good, this, is the good, this is a good question. Did your prophet see the angel who is carrying the throne of Allah? Did he did he see the angels carrying the throne of Allah? Mm -hmm. um, did he? Don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Because if you see the, the, the throne of Allah, you say, okay, you say he saw the throne of Allah. Did Muhammad saw the throne of Allah? Yeah, he 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 seen the throne of Allah. I'm saying that. Where um, is where where is the story that says he saw the throne of Allah? Can you show me the reference? Yes, yeah, in the hadith. Okay, give it to me. When he went to Mi'raj. Okay, he did not see, see the throne of Allah. You are lying, my friend. Okay, one minute. Let me show you. Hmm. I have to search for it, so... Okay, I will give you uh, five minutes. Call me back in five minutes. Oh. Okay. Muhammad, he saw the throne of Allah. <laughs> and look at this fiction story. Not only Muhammad, he saw the... He claimed that he knew the angels who carry Allah, how they look like. He claimed that he have a ear and he have a loop. <laughs> and the distance between his loop and his shoulder is 700 years journey. In, in which in which speed? <laughs> Camel speed? I mean, this guy, Muhammad, obviously is fabricating lies. And I'm waiting for you. <clears throat> I hope the five minutes will not be become five hours. <clears throat> you have a loop, loop, loop. <laughs> 
and the funny the Muslim they claim that Jibreel is a Ruh al Qudus, Ruh means spirit. So, how he is a spirit, he have a loop. If the angels are a spirit, have they ha how they have a loop? May Allah loop you. I mean, do you see how much confusion this, this cult has? In one hand, they say to us, Jibreel is a spirit, and he is a Holy Spirit. And then they say to us that the angels have shoulders and they have a loop. Qasim, I'm waiting for you. The time is almost up. Once I was debating a Muslim, this was more, I don't know, 15 years ago, more. He said he wanted to go to the bathroom. He was a sheikh. Since then, he never come back. We called the police. They checked the bathroom. They could not find him. Until now, he's missing. This is why bathroom is very dangerous. And this is explained why Muhammad, he says, before you enter the bathroom, you have to pray to Allah. Because shaitan, Shaitan is going to play with your bum. And by the way, brother, this is true. I mean, the prophet, he knew things, as you see. He have expertise. How the prophet, he knew that shaitan, he'll play with your bum. Did he experience that? Like he went in the bathroom and he felt something there? Are you there, Qasim? Guys, did we finish the five minutes? <clears throat> did we finish the five minutes? Anyone is counting the time? I think we finished the five minutes. This guy is looking. Okay, you know, Qasim, I will give you five years. Forget about the five minutes. Because five minutes for Muhammad is five years in our time. I'm still looking. Keep looking, my friend. Don't, don't stop. If you're out of gas, stop in the gas station. It's in the corner. Keep driving. You're still looking what you can do. So in order to take Muhammad seriously, we have to ask questions seriously. How Muhammad he got this information and what this is mean what the point if this is 700 years before the journey is that he's so big size does matter brother the angel who carry Allah is so big yeah because Allah is Akbar he's so big he's so heavy do you want a small angel to carry Allah and you know what if we say for the sake of argument Muhammad is not lying uh, let us just take it okay let us say there's an angel the distance between let me let me draw for you. you know, I cannot resist the art of uh, drawing. You know, I am an artist by birth. You know, I I, I was like uh, I made a museum since I was uh, one day old. So let us say this is Mr. Angel. We will make him handsome so the Muslims will be a lot offended. You know, and this is his ear. And brother, this is his loop, the loop of his ear. Let me make it in blue. Blue is good. He have here uh, maybe uh, some piercing. Okay. If Muhammad saying that this angel he have a loop, and the distance between his loop, let's go down. Let's continue uh, drawing. We, 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 we did not uh, draw the shoulder, sorry. So let us continue here, the drawing. Uh, guys, this is I have a copywriting over this uh, drawing. Don't take it and say it in the internet. I know you. You want to make a uh, business, money. All right? So this is the shoulder. Let's make it uh, is, uh, because it's long neck, long neck. Okay. So here now we have the shoulder of Jibril or the angel. This is his shoulder, brother. MashaAllah, very beautiful, very handsome. The distance, brother, let us use other, the different uh, color now. 
the distance from here oh hold on well why am the distance let us use uh, what color uh, th this one the distance brother from here to here is 700 years Seven hundred what? Years, brother. Hmm. And Muhammad is still looking. Uh, Muhammad, I will give you seven hundred years. Seven hundred years. Okay, is that make the angels so big, really? Muhammad is talking about distance of what? Seven hundred years. In, in which measure? Those people they used to travel by donkey and by camel. So when we say seven hundred years. It is the time it take you to reach a place, right? By the maximum speed we have as a human, or using animals. At that time he don't have. A, so if it take me a month to go to that place, they say a month journey. To go to China, it take maybe a three or six month journey. This is what how they, how, how they measure the distance. Okay, so seven hundred years, but this is so small. Muhammad he think but make by making such exaggerating number he make the angel so big but this is so tiny because the universe is so huge Is that correct? The universe is so huge what 700 years in the speed of camel Will take you more longer to go to the moon by the by the camel. What hundred seven hundred years? What does that mean? And by the way, why why there is a uh, seven hundred years between his loop and his uh, is, is, is there is something wrong with the design of Allah? By measuring this, we can measure the rest of the angel. He's a man, obviously. Is what is a chicken? Actually, I have a surprise for Muhammad Qasim who is not calling me until now. Is it in different hadith Muhammad he claimed that Allah is carried by eight mountain goats? Mountain what? Mountain goats. Let us see. We need to find the hadith. Guys, are you having a good time? Are we having a good time? I hope we are learning, right? Because this is the purpose of what we do here. Okay, let's see. See how much you have to do, I mean, work to find things what we can do because if we say something and we don't show it they will say he is making things up all right here we go we found it above that there are eight mountain goats It what? Mountain goats. Now we have to correct our uh, drawing. So let us do this. Hold on.
Give me a second. All right. Lord have mercy. We will choose a beautiful goat for you. Here we go. We got a very good looking goat. And for sure it's a male goat, you know, because Allah will not accept a female goat close to him. Haram. Now, this is the goat. This is the angel of Allah. It's not me who's saying that. It's your prophet. This is the angel of Allah. Because remember, your prophet, he says it's an angel. And now, where is the loop in the goat? As I know that the goat don't have loop. So according to your prophet, the distance between this, let us say here, he meant this, this area. Let us make it red. If he meant this, so the distance between here to here is 700 years, brother. Brother, I'm truly convinced that the Prophet Muhammad is a true prophet. Otherwise, how he knew this knowledge? How a man, he is not educated, he knew this. There is no way he can be fabricating because this is, this is something NASA just discovered last year. I mean, even NASA did not know about it yet. Just this is just recent, recently discovered by the scientist. His name George Bush. While uh, uh, the, the scientist George Bush, he was trying to prove it. Uh, uh, there's another scientist who work in uh, in uh, 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 Trump Tower. He said, uh, uh, "No, this is not a true. It was uh, it was a cow." And this guy is calling me to prove me wrong. And supposedly he will get me busted. It, it take us two seconds and he is gone. Isn't it obvious that this guy he is making things up? What is it? What is it? And what? And what? The distance between the loop of oh, tell us how, how this angel look like first. Or why this angel have a loop and have ears and have shoulders? Uh, because he carried the uh, the throne of Allah, brother. But Muhammad, he said in different uh, uh, hadith that angels have wings. This is a goat. It looked like Muhammad, he think goats are angels. <clears throat> All right. Am I heard, guys? Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? Any Muslim have a comment? I'm I'm really convinced that Muhammad is a prophet. That's it. What we can do? I mean, if 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 you don't agree with the Quran, you have to agree with the goat. And the funny, the second you show them something embarrassing, they said you wouldn't agree with the scholars. The second you say something, you say show me. If you say something from your own, they say you well, we don't believe in this. Show me. The second you show them, they say we don't agree with the scars. <laughs> uh, do you agree with your prophet? Oh, our prophet, there's a lot of hadith are fabricated. Everything in Islam is fabricated. Da'if. Islam is da'if, Muhammad is da'if, Allah is da'if, and the goat is strong. This goat can climb the mountains. Muhammad he did it, but he did not succeed. So my friend, I want to say thank you for being here. It's time for me to go, you know, for today. I hope we have a good time. And uh, we are happy that our friend, he uh, he called us if they call and they decide to leave Islam. And uh, let me take the goat off. Because this uh, goat, she might be became a public figure. Because here we go. I mean, this is an angel of Allah. Especially as a blonde. They like a blonde things.
That's why I chose this goat. You know, because she's blonde. So, I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And all Muslims are welcome to call us. And trust me, Muhammadan, I'm not against you as a human being. I'm against lies. I'm trying to save you. I'm trying to help you. Islam is nothing but a cult. Islam is nothing but a stupid cult. And you know, you have to be intelligent. You have to be vigilant. You have to be smart. And you don't, don't let people drive you with the stupidity. I mean, it's a shame. We are in the year 2000. 19 soon will be in the year 2020 and you believe in this shaitan play with your private part if you don't say a prayer allah uh, to allah allah shaitan will rod himself around your private part and he will be doing your wife with, with you and then the shaitan will be the son the son of, the, the son of shaitan the, the, the son from this uh, sexual relationship i mean this is all is fiction stupidity you have to be very naive, small brain, to believe in it. In order to avoid using the brain, we just surrender. Surrender. Don't think. Surrender, brother. Convert to Islam. Surrender. Because if you don't surrender, you go crazy. Just surrender. Don't think about it. Chapter 5, verse 101. Ask not questions. Because the second you ask questions, verse number 1, 2, it says you will leave Islam as the same as previous generation. Surrender. But we will not. We are here getting Islam busted and nobody can refute us. Thank you all for being here. It's time for me to go. I did not eat since yesterday. So it's time for me to eat something. And uh, I pray to the Lord that people will listen and learn and they will accept the truth and the truth will set them free. I pray that all Muslims in India, in Pakistan, all around the world, the same as what happened to our friend, uh, Iftikar who called us today as a Muslim and he hang up as a Christian I, I hope all of them they will accept the truth and they will become Christians don't follow fictions and don't follow a bad teacher Muhammad proven to be a bad teacher Jesus said that from their fruits you shall know them go check the fruits of Muhammad you will not believe it how disgusting it is so how in the world we can accept him as a teacher Right, you will get me evidence next time. No problem, we are here, my friend. You have years to look and find, so we can love together. All right, so guys, our friend here, Muhammad Qasim, he, he will find us the reference, but pff, next time, okay. And next time will come, and we will see the reference you have for us, so we will enjoy reading them. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And remember, we have Thanksgiving Day is coming, but this is not only for America. Thanksgiving should be every day. Thanks the Lord for the bread you have in your table, for the health you have, for what you have, whatever it is, even if it's little, for what you have can be taken from you. Appreciation is the key of happiness. It's not how much you have, it's how much you appreciate. A poor person, a poor person who appreciates what he have is way more happy than a billionaire who don't appreciate. Appreciate, my friend. Appreciate and live happy. Appreciate your Lord. Appreciate your Savior. Appreciate your existence. Appreciate all the gift He gave you. Appreciate that the Christ, He came to us to save us. And this is the biggest gift ever we had. And we have today. Thank you. And may the Lord bless you. And see you soon again. Christ is Lord, Islam is false. And thank you all.